This video will show you one way to make your Google searching more effective because we all know you're going to end up using Google in your research. To find more reputable websites, you can use limiters to restrict your search results to a certain type of domain. A domain is the little bit at the end of the URL, such as .com, .org, .gov, or .edu. Anyone can create a website that ends in .com or .org. While .org was originally intended for organizations, it is sometimes also used for commercial sites like Craigslist.org. .gov sites are owned by federal, state, or local governments and their departments and agencies. These sites can be great for finding official reports and statistical data, but there might be political bias. .edu sites are owned by institutions of higher education, such as universities and community colleges. These can be great places to find current research being done by scholars and scientists, but may also include student assignments, and you don't want to cite a random paper by some college student, do you? It's very easy to limit your search in Google to only .gov or .edu sites. Type into the search bar site colon period gov and then the rest of your search. For example, let's search for .gov sites about GMOs. The first result here is a frequently asked questions list from the FDA. This might have some useful information. Let's compare that to a regular Google search. Here are the results if you leave off the limiter. The first result is from a site called non-gmoproject.org. We can tell their perspective on GMOs just from the URL. You can do the same thing to search for .edu sites. Just type site colon period edu. Finally, you can use the same type of search to limit your results to a specific website. For example, if you want to search for light rail information from the state government, your search would look like this, site colon hawaii.gov light rail. If you have any questions about Google searching, please ask a librarian.